Alright, it's Tuesday morning. Got a big old mulch job to do today. It's five yards on here. And a little bit of a spring cleanup. Morning, fellas. It is Wednesday morning, 8.09 a.m. I have about 3,000 pounds of top floral in the back of the truck. Um, removing a garden bed today, digging out a bush and planting grass along with a little bit of aeration. So, that's today's job. Basically, he doesn't want some of his flower beds, so we're gonna dig out all the mulch, dump it over the bank, install dirt and grass seed. Call out a job complete. All right guys, working down here. Well, I'm working up there. I thought I was hearing a jet go across this bridge, but no, just a power stroke. Check out this tree. You wanna cut that down, Tyler? I think it's about eight feet wide. All right, so today's job is getting rid of this garden bed and planting grass, plus a little bit of aeration. There was raised garden beds here. All this great topsoil, that's why I spread out here already. Have to get rid of the rest of the stuff, wheel it down to the creek, and somehow get that trub out. Not sure on that one. Using manpower today instead of machine power. I don't know if this thing's gonna come out just by digging it. There's zero access for a truck. Fourth comes to worse, I'll go over to the rental store, pick up and Bobcat MT. I think it's MT55 or whatever it is. It's like 105 bucks for. I think it's either a day or half a day. I don't remember what the half a day price is. But, I don't know. We gotta get this out. So I'm following a cop and he's going probably 48 to 50 in a 35. Cause I'm going 45 right now and I'm well behind him and he's losing me. He's not even from this county either. I want to show you guys my retarded way of getting this, oh about sprain my ankle, about getting this stump out. It's loose, can't get a good grip on it to pull it out. Besides it was a lot tighter a minute ago. So I'm going to find a place to put you guys and you're going to watch. I think you guys can see down but I got it so much looser just by doing this might have to do some big root yet getting loose I think that can be transplanted. Spent about two hours in that bad boy. Finally broke it loose using my big old feet. Now the customer, I think he wants it planted right in here. To be honest, I'm hoping it dies before that happens. I don't really want to dig another hole for that. Morning YouTube. It's 8.44 a.m. <clears throat> I have eight yards to cut today. And right now, I have a meeting at nine o'clock with a guy from Parvin Paving about a project for one of my clients. They wanted me to take care of it, so that's what I'm doing. 
I'm also going to be mowing for that client at the time. It's my small commercial property. It's an office, little office park. But I need to get some fuel and then get over to that office and meet the guy from Parvin. All right, so this is the driveway project. I want to turn it into a parking lot, but I can't even see the paint anymore. I'm taking it, extending it to here. This bush is gone. This starts the first parking spot, second parking spot, third spot, and fourth spot. And right there's part of the paving back there. They're in the wrong area. Then my plan is just to take the loader and take a nice little path through here. Gives you better access to the backyard and allows a drainage point. Alright. Just took lunch a little bit ago. I'm on the 4th. I have 3 more to go. I don't, I only have 7, not 8. I didn't do one of them because it wasn't long enough. So I'm finishing up this one. I have four more to do in this neighborhood, or three more to do in this neighborhood. I have four total. Now I haven't been doing a whole lot of filming recently and when I do film it's just little itty bitty clips. That's simply because the GoPro's not working and I don't know, I just don't feel like filming. Not in the groove of filming yet. Alright, this is the property we're gonna cut. Park right over here by the sign. The trailer brakes are working now, that's so what anytime it jerks, that's why. This is the trailer brakes work. It's 205, on to the next house. Got two more to go today. property here looks nice with that mulch. Unfortunately, I didn't do it. Alright, here we are. This property here. This one's still first cut of the year. Most of them, well, actually, after today, all of them are on their second and or third cut. And away we go. Two thirty-seven. So we did that one. I don't remember the time I pulled up. I think it was a few minutes after two. And so I mean, we did it around thirty minutes. So it's nice about this neighborhood. I have four accounts within mile of each other not quite close enough to park the truck and drive to at least with the X mark anyway but there's still well I filmed how close they are and you're gonna see how close this one is literally a couple blocks down the road right here is the property we're cutting I'm gonna go down here, turn around, and come back up. That's just how I've done it ever since I got, ever since I've been doing it. Now all the accounts in this neighborhood I've done going on four or five years. Because my actual neighborhood where I live, where I did it with just the tractor and a little pool behind trailer. So all these. I've done for many, many years, so I know these people real well. And these are accounts that you're not gonna snatch out from under me, because I've had them back when I had crap. Now, now 
now I'm doing them with an X mark and skag. And they went from doing it with like a craftsman. So, and the price really hasn't even jumped up that much on them. So these accounts definitely are going to be around for the long haul for the most part. Unless someone moves or runs out of money, which has happened. We're at 302, done for the day, did seven properties. Did them all with the X mark. The Skag's still at the dealer getting service with carburetor, diaphragms, whatever's the problem with it. Uh, Tuesday I had it and it shut off in someone's backyard and would not start. I let it sit two hours, luckily it finally started. Because it would start, shut off after five feet. So I was making slow progress back to the trailer. I was doing a mulch job, so. And then finally it started up and ran. I just held it down all the way to the trailer and then took it straight to the dealer and left it there. So when I was shopping for a mower, someone advised me, I don't remember who it was, get a, get a stand on mower that rides are overrated. My feet are killing me along with my back and everything. I much prefer sitting than I do standing. And I have a whole lot more energy when I sit than I do when I stand. Beats the crap out of your feet, your back, your legs, at least a walk behind. I'm not talking more or less standard, but it's the same principle, just not as bad with a standard because you're not only sulky. And they have more suspension than a sulky, but it's still the same principle. So this is going to be the end of this week's random clips. So thanks for watching. Subscribe. Well, just dropped the truck off to get painted. I'll have it back Wednesday, I hope.